and here is the view ladies and gentlemen isn't it isn't it beautiful it really is much to my delight the the rain stopped today finally because it was raining so hard in the last uh, few days and the hotel that I'm staying at is uh, down there and it's about 14 minute walk to the town center and then from the town center to walk where I am at right now it takes about 15 minutes I would say and uh, and that is the uh, the chapel behind me small beautiful uh, chapel there it's open I'm gonna go check it out but first I need to just enjoy this uh, this uh, scenery and it's beyond my uh, description to uh, beyond my ability to describe I should say Greetings from Berchtesgaden town in Germany it's a beautiful town on the Bavarian Alps so if you like nature this place might be a uh, heaven on earth because uh, the surrounding area is full of uh, waterfalls lakes valleys and all that kind of stuff I'm staying in this town for quite a while to discover all those surrounding uh, nearby uh, towns and for now I'll just uh, go for a walk through the streets of uh, this uh, historic town and let you uh, see it for yourself to decide whether this town suits your taste or not and if you are planning a trip down here this video might give you a sense of what this uh, town is like I just got here today I got uh, I checked in and now we'll just go walk on and see what this uh, town is like it's close to the uh, it's located on yeah, closer to the uh, Austrian border it's about uh, an hour bus ride from Salzburg So if you are in Salzburg and you are short on time, this might be a, a good day trip from Salzburg if you don't have time to discover, to explore the surrounding areas here in the Bavarian Alps. I would say just take a bus uh, from Salzburg, it's only half an hour. I would say 50 minutes to an hour, one way. So two hours uh, round trip. But I highly recommend you stay here in this re region for five days because the videos that you are about to see in the near in the coming days will be uh, will be for the uh, Bavarian uh, Alps because I will uh, I will visit those uh, areas this week and next week so I have plenty of time to spend here. It's really beautiful, especially in the uh, in the fall season, because uh, you're not going to see a bunch of uh, tourists, because the tourists already left, because the school already started, and that's when you need to consider visiting uh, visiting those beautiful towns, beautiful countries overall, because the prices are cheaper. And the weather is very nice.
I'm not sure where this street will uh, take me to, but let's go and uh, take a look at it and see where it's gonna take me. I really like to walk away from the uh, touristy area, and now uh, all of the sudden the whole street is to uh, myself and the homes are really really charming uh, the look of the homes are is very very charming and beautiful I'm not sure how old they are but I would imagine at least uh, 500 years old because it's a historic town and I'm trying to go to uh, a very nice uh, viewing platform that will give you a view of the uh, Watsman uh, Mountain and Watsman Mountain is a very beautiful uh, mountain very famous mountain you can look it up google it and you will see what I'm talking about and here is a beautiful uh, beautiful church over there you can look up ahead it reminds me of uh, Hallstatt village in Austria I visited Austria and I shared uh, enough videos of Austria you can check out my visit to uh, to Hallstatt one of the uh, most beautiful villages in the world I really love that village uh, Hallstatt in, in Austria you can check out my video you might uh, enjoy it see as long as you are away from the metropolitan areas I don't like the big metropolitan cities I really like small towns and villages and that's why I don't spend much of my time in, uh, in big cities such as Vienna, Munich and all that kind of stuff I like to go and visit those uh, these beautiful uh, historic towns because they're so quiet and the population is very low I think if I'm not mistaken it's only uh, 7,000 uh, people live uh, live here in uh, Bexar Garden I'm still trying to pronounce it the right way but every time I try I fail And the bus that takes you from Salzburg is bus number 840 from Salzburg Central Station and you pay cash it costs about six euros six and twenty cents six euros and twenty cents something like that but you they don't take credit card they only take cash Not sure if this is a apartment complex or a hotel so I got to this area because I am trying to find my way to that beautiful uh, viewing platform and I think uh, it goes this way it's a famous walk it's called something but I forgot what it's called I'm, I'm gonna put it in the description but basically you walk along a very beautiful scenery and you get to uh, a very nice uh, viewing platform where you can see uh, the, the the famous mountain called Watsman and that's where I'm trying to go and also there is uh, a restaurant or a cafe or something like that where you can sit and relax and enjoy the the view and here uh, there is a cathedral or a church I'm not sure I haven't done my my homework to to read about the places here in, in this town because if I do that it's gonna take me a lot of time imagine if you read if you read about every single uh, site that you visit 
it will be time consuming but I'm gonna do what I like to do and that is just uh, walk and just walk and uh, babble and talk as I uh, as I ob as I observe something I just say it and I think that is the name of the uh, of the walk over there I'm not sure if you can see it or not it says nine meters to get to that uh, viewing platform and in the meantime I will just keep the camera on and let you uh, see it for yourself if you're still watching you will get uh, a very nice taste of uh, of this beautiful town and here I got to this uh, place I'm not quite sure where I should go this seems to be a private uh, this seems to be a private uh, entrance should, seems to be a private entrance but there is a trail that goes this way I'm gonna take this trail and see where it's gonna take me oh boy I am the only one I am the only one walking this uh, this trail And the whole town is not really that big so I don't think you will have a hard time navigating uh, through uh, the city I'm pretty much uh, walking now without uh, a guide there is a trail that goes this way over there So I had to look up my uh, notes on my iPhone and that's the place that I'm trying to get to 600 meters so I'm gonna continue going uh, this this uh, direction sometimes you really need to you really need uh, Google Maps it helps when you get the stuck but first I need to make a short stop to see what's going on here it's a rather nice uh, site to uh, to stop by and take uh, photos over here So stick, uh, stick around with me in this video, we will go to the very nice uh, viewing platform and that's what I'm trying to, uh, to get to. So if you're enjoying this video so far, I can tell you that the next videos will be even better because the, uh, because I'm gonna go explore the nature around this uh, town. And uh, I got something called a guest card from the hotel. They give you something called, I'm not sure what's the exact name, but it's, it's, it's a guest card. Make sure you ask for it because that card gives you free uh, transportation to the nearby uh, towns. You get a free bus ride to pretty much everywhere you go here around this uh, around this beautiful town and that is very very uh, convenient and uh, makes it more economical economically uh, good uh, way to to explore the town without spending that much money and you also uh, there is there is an, another uh, way to go over there I'm not sure what that is seems that 
like it's a bridge or something like that. Yeah, you see? So if you're staying uh, in this town in any hotel, they give you that card. And also uh, that card gives you uh, discounts for parking in case you're driving. If you decide to drive, then uh, that card gives you a discount for some sites as well, for some uh, tourist uh, attractions. You visit some places, they will give you a, a discount. And parking here may not be free, just to let you know. What a beautiful, uh, what a beautiful site to uh, explore. And last year I visited uh, Salzburg and I did, uh, I shared a lot of videos of Salzburg last year. You can check them out. And I might visit Salzburg as well soon on my way to Vienna. I will visit Vienna in two, in two weeks. Vienna is the capital of Austria. Here is a little bit dark and my camera seems to uh, to do a very very poor job when it's a low light uh, situation. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to, to walk slowly so I don't shake my camera because the stabilization feature doesn't work well when uh, when the camera shakes when i uh, when i walk i cannot uh, hold the the camera uh, and uh, prevent it from shaking okay now uh, now i see some sunlight okay now i'm gonna walk normal so if you are into uh, video uh, filming and doing videos you know that uh, when you walk in a low light situation the image becomes a little bit uh, shaky it shakes over here is the view So this uh, wooden trail ends here and it takes you into a, a residential area if I'm not mistaken. But I'm still in the right direction according to Google Map. Probably take me another another 10 minutes. And if you are uh, doing a day trip from Salzburg, just make sure you take your ID or passport, your travel documents, because you're going into another uh, country from, from Austria to Germany, even though Germany is in the uh, Schengen area, but they still have the right to, uh, to do a random check. If that's the case, then you're ready for it. So if you have a visa to visit Austria, you have the right to also visit Germany because Germany and Austria are in the in the in the Schengen area. And if you are a US citizen, you don't need a visa to visit countries in in Schengen area. But starting in 2023 they might uh, they will implement something called an authorization uh, permit it's like going to Australia before you fly you have to uh, apply for the authorization and it's valid for three years uh, and then and then you can fly to Europe if you are a US citizen that will that will start in 2023. I'm not sure what month, but they're gonna start to implement that feature. 
Google map wants me to go the other way so I missed the uh, the exit I should go this way and it's gonna cost about 8 euros that authorization permit you can apply online and it takes a few minutes the application is not that difficult to fill out it's not a visa it's just an authorization 8 euros and will be valid for for uh, 3 years they just ask you for uh, your name your date of birth and and all that kind of stuff wow there I'm not sure if this is a lodge or a hotel or restaurant or a private home no idea I have no idea what they are but what I can tell you is that they are decorated I like the, the decor the external decor of those homes something that I don't see in the United States all homes in the United States are, are new because it's a new country but in Europe you're gonna see a bunch of those uh, beautiful charming historic towns and that's one of the big reasons why I love going to Europe to see those uh, historic buildings even if they are new they like to maintain the same old style I would imagine the, the building that is above up ahead is not that old but they uh, whoever designed that uh, building decided to uh, to keep uh, the historic uh, look look at this uh, isn't it isn't it something I'm not there yet I'm not there yet but this is what I see along the way so this is what you're gonna see when you visit this town and I really recommend I really recommend you if you are if you're watching this video and you love to travel to to Europe make this uh, town on your um, bucket list because it's not really that famous uh, most people they just like to go to uh, famous uh, metropolitan cities like Rome Paris but they miss the uh, the small cities you know and that's what I like to do, explore I explore the the towns that are not famous off the beaten path places there's something going on there construction uh, going on I found my way to uh, to do to this uh, small chapel is very famous spot here where you take a, a beautiful photo and you enjoy enjoy the uh, the view of this beautiful town there is no shortage of uh, benches over here and I'm still trying to recover from the accident I had an accident I fell down in Lake Gozauzi and that happened while I was filming you can check that out basically a cow hit me while I was trying to pass through a narrow path and a cow hit me the cow thought that I was a threat to to the small to the to the other small cows so I hit my knee very hard and also my head and I scratched my legs as well and here is the view ladies and gentlemen isn't it isn't it beautiful it really is much to my delight the the rain stopped today finally because it was raining so hard in the last uh, few days and the hotel that I'm staying at is uh, down there 
and it's about 14 minute walk to the town center and then from the town center to walk where I am at right now it takes about 15 minutes I would say and uh, and that is the uh, the chapel behind me small beautiful uh, chapel there it's open I'm gonna go check it out but first I need to just enjoy this uh, this uh, scenery and it's beyond my uh, description to uh, beyond my ability to describe I should say and um, if I'm not mistaken this is a uh, Watsman mountain and there is a beautiful lake around this area that I will go visit um, very soon probably this week so you can check out that video and uh, and I'm sure these videos will uh, will help you uh, plan will help you with your itinerary planning activity in case you want to visit this place but if you're not planning to visit it's still uh, it's still fun to to watch uh, to watch these videos because you're exploring the uh, the area as if you were here walking alongside me you see I want to go I see what's uh, what's going on inside I'm trying to wait for people to to leave but they're not leaving let's see what's going on hallelujah praise the Lord wow I'm gonna take a better part of five minutes here sitting there and do some reflection and thank God for everything that has given me that gave me the opportunity to travel the world and explore this beautiful uh, beautiful uh, world hallelujah so let's go now continue my exploring the the trail it's still going it still goes this way I'm not quite sure what uh, what else uh, to see but you can spend uh, the better part of an hour here and just enjoy enjoy the, the, the view and if I'm not mistaken there is a, a restaurant or a cafe somewhere here that I'm trying to 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 find and this is the place that I'm trying to go to it says five minutes this way we will go there and now I found myself here up here I'm not quite sure if this is a private home or a hotel or something else would be nice if uh, they have uh, a cafe somewhere here but uh, let's see what they have here maybe there is uh, another viewing platform I'm not sure Can you imagine you live here? That would be very, very beautiful uh, spot to live here. Yeah, there is a, there is a viewing platform. You see the, that gentleman taking photos. Over there. So basically, this is actually better this viewing platform is actually better than than the one that you saw earlier because it's a higher 
elevation it gives you a you are at the higher elevation right now and you can use your uh, camera if you have a nice lens and you do your uh, photo stuff and if you are into photography I'm sure this uh, this spot will not uh, disappoint you at all I uh, last year in Salzburg I went all the way to the castle Hohenspur castle if I'm not mistaken it's called that uh, I went I took a funicular cable all the way to the top and I saw a view like that but it's view of uh, Salzburg from above you can check out uh, that video I'm sure you might uh, enjoy that video as well if you are enjoying what you're seeing right now so on this on this side there is a, a view on the other side So now I'm going down, there is a trail all the way to take you uh, to the town center and that trail takes about uh, 20 minutes and you go uh, along very beautiful scenery so I would say if you have if you still have the energy to continue the hike then I will highly recommend it especially if the weather is very uh, is very uh, nice and uh, but if you don't have the energy to continue your hike you can go back the way you came from and that trail is only uh, 15 minutes but you would see the same stuff again so I would recommend you just go down this way and you enjoy this beautiful uh, this beautiful view <laughs> 